uh, I'm gonna start. Hello guys, my name is Rina. I am playing as the neighbor Ivy, who is... We are muted. Still... We're muted. Yeah, we're <laughs> muted. Go in chat. Intro though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> just pet banana, banana. Just type the word banana to chat if you can hear this test. <laughs> banana, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> well this is familiar familiar territory i'm always muted when i start my intro hello guys my name is serena i am playing as the neighbor neighbor ivy who is currently really oblivious to what is going on right now her roommate just died got murdered question mark murdered and her biggest enemy right now is the damn spiders and the basement that Neil brought her into. Why the fuck do we have to do our meeting in the basement? In a dark dingy basement with spiders. Anyway, that's for that's it for me. <laughs> Neil. Hi. Uh suddenly there's God rays on me, I guess. Uh hi, my name is Nordin Lee Kadir. Uh my pronouns are he him. I'm playing Neil whose pronouns are also he him. Some mm -hmm. oh Ghosty, yeah. Uh, my pronouns are also he, he, Neil, he, him, ghost. Yes. Uh, guess what? I'm also dead. And I'm her next door neighbor. Ivy's not having a good day, people. Hi, I'm Chantel B. You can find me on Twitter at Chantel B. My pronouns are they, she, and I'm playing Melody, the somewhat satisfied Faye whose pronouns are she, they. Um, Melody's having a very confusing time of life right now. You know, a member of, of Faye royalty just died, but on the other hand, she just had sex. So, I mean, boom, balance, right? <laughs> That's all things should be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi y'all, I'm Melissa, pronouns they, them. You can find me on Twitter at a disaster queer. I am playing Arden, the worm, who uses any pronouns. And uh, he is currently terrified and traumatized still because they found a dead body. So that's fun. And because Ivy just like cruelly refused to hug her because she thought it was spiders. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, I'm Chris Cologne, and uh, pronouns he, him, and I'm playing Isaac, uh, pronouns also he, him, and he's not exactly having a great day, he got cornered in the room, handcuffed, and half his blood sucked out, so yeah, he's not, he's not having the grandest of times. Alright, and because uh, apparently my, my whole speech in the beginning wasn't heard, uh, welcome to Gehenna Academy Chapter 3, Queen's Gambit. I just want to drop a content warning for tonight, which is going to involve a little bit of horror, a little bit of psychological horror, a dash of violence. Okay, maybe more than a dash. A good amount of gore, a good amount of gaslighting, and just uh, probably some sexual content, depending on where our players take it, you know. That just happens. That's monster arts for y'all. Uh, but if you, but for seriously, if you feel uncomfortable at any time, during the stream uh, please just you know take a break take your earphones off maybe go watch some of our other stuff there's a lot of stuff to watch we'll be back for you next week no worries and with that i think we're ready to chew jump in to gehenna academy chapter three queen's gambit so when we last left our group, we had warnings of a warnings of a bad future should the culprit not be found. We had inclinations that something more was was happening in this school. 
the body of a student being found hanged. The arrival of Nightmare Fae. However, when the next day rolls by and the bell sounds and the next morning routine as Wednesday kind of emerges from its slumber, things kind of feel like there's a sense of normalcy for most people. Isaac, you still wake up getting the morning text. Arden, the sun still kind of peers through your window, uh, shining on your face in order to give you that very early morning rouse. Melody, you wake up peachy as ever. Uh, perhaps, though, wrapped in the uh, coverings of a new lover. Neil. The same abandoned area lies for you. The same abandoned place. The same coldness that you're used to. Ivy. It's a little bit different for you. It's a lot different for you. Yoni might not have been the perfect roommate, but he was a comforting figure. A comforting part of it. Something that you could take solace in. Routine. But now you're all alone again. All alone in this room. No messages. From your family, from your parents, from your aunts, your uncles. Just silence. Ivy, what do you do in the morning? I probably grab my journal and Go and find Kaya? She's in... I, I don't want to be alone. She's just down the hall. As, as she's told you many of times. So, you get ready. You get dressed. And you head out. Isaac. You wake up face to face. With the book that you've been cradling. He never got a proper chance to look into it because stuff had progressed so fast last night. And you can almost feel a hint of phantom pain as you bring your hand up to your neck. Unable to feel the bite marks anymore. Uh, I think the first thing is uh, check my phone to see any sex messages I've gotten. You get a text message from Brooke um, asking you what the next phase of the plan is. Uh, what what time is it? It's about 7.15, 730 So, do, let me... We have time before our classes, right? Oh, you... For everyone here, you would know classes are canceled for the day. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely after what happened last night, everyone uh, kind of needs a day off to themselves. Even more so, you've heard inkling and rumors that today would be the day that the uh, bus, the only way in and out of the academy, is running for the majority of the day today. Allowing the students to maybe go into town and get away from this place for a little bit if they so choose so all right so if anything i will text like the group chat of my um click emergency meeting in my room it's that and then after that uh look into my book okay 
And one other thing, because I remember Reese last night kept going on about he killed someone. Did I ever learn anything from that, or did I just shrug it off? You didn't have time. It's still a lead if you want it to be. Okay. Would I have uh, taken the time to talk to him, or is it just something again? He would have just. He would have. He would have. Yeah. As soon as stuff was over, he ran off. All right. You, so didn't, then you didn't have time to really decipher it as much as you'd like to. Okay, so I'll, I'll keep that on the backlog then. So I'll deal with the book first. Neil, do you do you own a cell phone? Yeah, um, I got out of Lost and Found like eight years ago. Uh, it's a BlackBerry. There's no touch screen. It's all the keys. It's my favorite phone to use in the supernatural universe. <laughs> what it, what are your plans for today? What is what is Neil thinking he wants to do? He wants to corner Melody. There's only one other fan on campus. There's only one other person who gives a sh- as much of a shit about this as those nightmare freaks do. He needs to talk to Melody. And the best way to do that is to take the bus to somewhere where they can be, you know, somewhat alone. Arden, you wake up to a text message as well. It's a text message from Tyler. Or as he likes to call himself, Ty Money. It reads... Yo. Wait, is that it? Yes. <laughs> um, I will text back. Hey, question mark. Meet up today, question mark. Need uh... something. He doesn't spell out something like it needs something. Of course, my beautiful boy. Um, sure, the usual spot. It's a date. Heart. He sends back an eggplant emoji. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I will just leave that. Leave it <laughs> An eggplant, really? Time money. <laughs> time money is my favorite. Time money, the best guy. Time, time money sees a shot and he takes it. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for the raid, Josephine. You are fucking amazing. Love Holy you so shit. much. Thank you. Family unite. Family unite. Is that the sign for V? And for that moment, just one moment, we were briefly over. A hundred viewers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, I'll take it. We are playing a tragic game of Monsters. Please stick in, enjoy this, enjoy the fun because it's gonna get bloody and it's gonna get violent fast. And we have time money. And we have time money. Yeah, the chat. <laughs> yeah, time... we got time money. Thank you Who so much. Blood emoji. <laughs> to his drug love. dealer though. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the chat. And thank you for the over. I love you. Um, but after that, that my fanboying is done. Melody, as you, as you wake up, you still find yourself wearing, wearing the shirt or the jacket, I should say, of Marcuccio. You also have, do you, does, does Melody have a, a phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your uh? So you actually do you have do you have a text message waiting for you? It's from a number you don't recognize. Okay. What does it say? It 
It says... It's... It's hard to explain. It's like a... But you know when you get a text message that's really, like, frantic or exciting? It's like a bunch of lines. Like, it's a bunch of, like, short bursts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This looks like that, but the all the texts are all jumbled up. It's like as in all the letters. Yes, like like a string of letters and numbers, like like someone is trying to speak is trying to use the device, but has no idea how to use it. Right. And then you just get a bunch of like. Emojis of like grass, plants, and flowers. Okay, it's a message from home, sort of thing. Uh, so once it sends a, a picture of a of a ET. <laughs> can, can can I phone home? What? How does this work? Can I phone home? So there is. I would like. Home. There is a move where you can indeed uh, phone home with. However, I don't think you have that. So, mm -hmm. you're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. If you want to, which involves finding a uh, circle of mushrooms. Or plants, or yes. something, or flowers. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, is there... <clears throat> there was one growing in the corner of my room, if I recall. Yeah, there are some mushrooms growing. You would have to arrange it in the circle and probably got get some more stuff. But yeah, you could definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Then I will kind of do that. I'll start, I'll start my day with that. Okay. I'll uh, try to. <laughs> As you <laughs> begin to assemble the ring... Uh, that you're able to use the ring of like you kind of take your old some herbs you have some plants you might have some of the mushrooms growing maybe you steal some of the veggies uh, from the cafeteria even but you make this mm -hmm. it's not the best go ahead and give me a dark so 2d6 plus dark nine So, as you're kind of focusing, it's not the best connection. And you feel the, the dust and the visceralness, the essence of the Fae begin to kind of wash over you. It's a, it's a feeling of home. Uh, in this particular spot in your room, you begin to feel warm as it pumps blood through your system. And you can feel it kind of sneaking around. And... It feels like it's a warm feeling. It's a very nice feeling. It's a pleasurable feeling. It's it's akin almost to ecstasy. As you kind of uh, open your eyes and you can begin to visualize uh, the Pharaoh in your head. You can see little dancing sprites. You can see pathways that don't exist in this realm you can look through the hallways and almost see them with like near transparency it's a neat little trick that you've learned you can tell that there's two things that pop out of you of the realm of the fae there's a uh, letter that has been kind of like left for you. That is hanging between the realm. You need only to pluck it. And bring it forth. And in a room. Not of your own. Um, actually. Across in the other wing. You can see. That there is. Some sort of object. Looks like a book. That also 
exist on the kind of mortal realm, but also on the fey realm as well. Does it look like the book that I saw yesterday? It has about the right same dimensions. Hmm. Interesting. If, if it were... If, if what you're seeing is to be... Like... if Okay, so if you're to understand what you're truly seeing right now, it's almost to suggest that there's two different books depending on what realm you're in. Hmm. You know, it's not, you know, particularly like two out of this world or something like this. You've heard of stuff like this before, but that's not your, your main focus as you kind of pluck this letter out. Hmm. What does it say? There's nothing in the letter. There is just an object as kind of like tinks into your hand, you feel, you can see this splendid, uh, luminescent key made almost of like reflective mirror and diamond, but like rough, like gemstone, not refined at all. What do you want me to do with that? And you kind of like, you can visualize uh, the image of a lock. And a door, specifically a fey door, a door into your realm. But there's no door that you know of, that you're sure of anyway. Unless it suggests that there is a door in this in in this academy, but that wouldn't be possible. You didn't make you didn't make any door here, but perhaps Yoni did. Hmm. Thank you. You get another text message. Uh, it's several colored hearts. Hmm. Plans might have changed for today. Um. The book. Can I reach it? You would have to physically go into that person's room, and they're in the other wing. But you've kind of memorized where it's it is. Way. Okay. Any ideas where this door is? Are you asking the... You're coming through your connection, your phone line? You just get question mm -hmm. marks back. Okay. And the, the shrugging I'm emoji. For that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you do get a nice little like emoji of like several vines. See you soon. Get a thumbs up, and the connection cuts. <laughs> And you can hear the echoing as we kind of switch the camera through the hallways. Uh, and you can hear the echoing of several people walking as a group as we see Isaac's court, the abandoned, uh, the three of them, Brooke, Christina, and Elliot, all heading towards Isaac's room. In fact, everyone can see that as they, as they walk out. They're in a, they're in a huff. Enough so that Elliot shoves uh, someone out of the way in order for them to get through. You know, you recognize who they shove out of the way. It's really fucked up. 
seeing how they're shoving a blind guy. As you see, uh, Samir grab hold of the lid. <laughs> what do you all do? Because you're all coming out of your rooms. You're all seeing what li this, like all these events happening. Uh, I immediately rush to Samir's side. Yeah, why wouldn't you? And they're just brushing off their their coat and making sure everything's good. You okay? Oh, oh, Neil. Uh, so, so, uh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't see you there. And he kind of like chuckles. <laughs> I I'm okay. The there. I don't know who that was, but I could take a fair guess. <sighs> Nine times out of ten, you'd be right. <laughs> School hierarchy and all that. How are you? You want to get out? Good. Good. Oh, do I want to get out? I mean, we might as well go. I was planning on going into town, you know, uh, dragging on some friends. And, and I know we said we'd uh, have a study date, but honestly, I really can't study right now. <laughs> oh, I did hear about that. The bus taking everyone into town today. Yeah, I, I'd be down for that. You know, there's, you know, I've been meaning to try. I've never been. There's apparently this really great ice cream place in town. Uh, have you heard of it? It's called the uh, the Dairy Royale. I uh, I have. I went there a couple years back. Oh, you have! Excellent. Yes, I, I I mean I would love a a friend or an escort. <laughs> well then, um and there's like I placed my hand underneath underneath his, but I put it out and like you know how how, how gentlemen do that? Mm -hmm. They extend their arm yeah. I do that, but his hand is on top of me so we can feel it. Are you ready or should okay. I wait for you to get dressed more? Oh, I'm I'm fine. I'm ready for the day. I wanted to get a spot of breakfast before we went, but well, then as your escort, I should take it at breakfast. <laughs> I appreciate it, but please don't get too fancy with me. Trust me, I couldn't get fancy if I tried. <laughs> you you're feeling troubled, though. I I I can see, or maybe it's just a guess. Um, did you hear what happened to? Oh yes. Unfortunate business. Let's just say that uh, he never really get over seeing a hanged man. Or person. No, unfortunately a lot. I, for one, uh, know quite a bit of them. We're actually a lot of my ancestors, unfortunately. You too? I mean, you... <laughs> yeah. The past wasn't kind to of people who looked like anything that wasn't, you know. No, it wasn't. And you know what's interesting? You think you get away from it during this century, or, you know, this time and age, but find out you're supernatural, you just trade one prejudice for another. It's true. I guess. It's horrible truth, though, isn't it? I'm just, I'm in a lot of pain. And I don't know how to feel, only that I'm utterly crushed. I wish I could stay here and tell you that pain makes you stronger or some of that malarkey, but I will say that there's a truth in the idea of misery loves company. Because that's really the only cure. Isolation, isolation and loneliness don't really get you anywhere. Oh, I don't know. I've done quite a lot of it myself. Though I gotta admit, when I'm in your company, I don't feel miserable. Oh, I, I appreciate that. You, you do me two kind of words. It's... 
thinking back to Yoni. How he must have saw our world. How our world must have felt towards him. Like it's broken and everyone can't even notice. Yeah. Maybe that's one way to look at it, but... Yoni had an appreciation for our world. I think even among the dull water paint, watercolors that cover this canvas we call this academy, he saw some of the beauty shine through. The... The wholesomeness and the lament and, and the pain. I might just be waxing poetics here, though. I mean, if you insist, I don't mind being uh, serenaded. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's a great idea. We should get Melody. Have yes. them come along with us. And has, has anyone gone to get uh, Ivy? That, that poor girl. She must be taking it harder than most of us. Honestly, I can't even tell. Ivy seems to go between being okay to being crushed and destroyed every other second. She just needs someone. She's human. She's more I mean, human so are you. Her. I mean, yes, but you you tend to lose a bit of yourself when you know when you see the past, you see the future, see the present. You tell oh. Me does Samir think they're special? Oh, you make me sound so pretentious. And kind of as that's going on, uh, you you see like two people collide into the wall next to you uh, as you see Tyler and Reese kind of going at it again. I should probably split them up. Why? I mean, not like I... I just... Yeah. Good point. <laughs> you don't need to play Peacemaker all the time. Just let things unfold how they are. Speaking of which... I haven't seen Jay today. I don't think I've seen Jay for... A week. I haven't seen Jay since the middle of the day yesterday. Hmm. Well, no matter. Breakfast. Breakfast, indeed. Let's go. I'm excited. Uh, and I take them to the to the cafeteria. Awesome. Um. Arden. You see uh, Tyler kind of go up to your room, uh, knocks on it twice, on the door. You Arden, oh. you in there? I didn't realize we were meeting here, but yeah. Yeah, I just need um. I just need like a like a just. Uh, just a hook up, you know, some favor. Come on in. And he kind of like, sort of he does that door. thing where he's like, oh, it looks around kind of like awkwardly. Yeah, he opens the door and he kind of walks in. Uh, so, so how's, is Arden already like dressed and ready for the day? Because I know Arden usually is like a, a, sleeps in, doesn't have a first period class for a reason. <laughs> uh, I think that they're still pretty freaked out from yesterday. So they couldn't sleep and ended up getting ready early. Plus, you know, gotta look my best for the person who sends me an eggplant emoji. He kind of, you see he's like dressed up in, um, you know, it's, it's the winter. So he's dressed up in like jeans. He got, he has like a, uh, one of those like, like workout hoodies on. He's kind of sitting there arms crossed, not looking too, uh, fancy today as it were. And he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I need, 
Is there... Hmm, and he kind of considers how he's going to say this. With Yoni gone, um... Yoni was kind of helping me out with something. And what was that? He was giving me some fey... Some dream grass. And I was wondering if you might know how to get some. Interesting. Um. Well, I mean, my knowledge doesn't come for free, Tyler. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, all right, all right. Okay, Worm, what, open your bargaining, how, what's, go, what it's going to take. <laughs> yes, so I will do the bargaining ceremony, which I think, uh, do you want me to read it? Or yeah, just... yeah, for sure. Okay, so one of my worm moves is with eye contact and smoke, you can bring someone into a strange trance with you. While there, the two of you can trade strings and objects and make promises. The MC will ask you some questions about what the trance is like. The bargaining can include strings you've gathered on others as well as new strings on yourself. When you're satisfied, the exchange occurs and the trance ends. So I think that what this looks like is that Tyler is sitting down I'm going to go over, sort of gently, like, put my hand on his face, make eye contact, exhale, and it's, like, smoke, and then we sort of fade into a weird, liminal, smoky world for the bargaining ceremony. I'm never going to get used to this. Oh, shit. So, as you know... The only other person I can think of that would have access to Dreamgrass here is Melody. And I don't see them just giving that up for nothing. But you gotta have some sort of insider connection, right? I have a string or two I could pull there. Um, if you have something that you would give to me in exchange. I mean, what do you want? Name your price. <sighs> you know... I've been feeling a little unsafe here since what happened yesterday. It would be nice to have, you know, someone to know that I could call on someone as strong as you when I need to, if I need protection. What, do you want me to, like, guard your door, or... And then he kind of get, like, smiles for a second and goes, Oh, I get it. You need, you need another roommate. I'm gonna raise an eyebrow. He's like, wait, don't you already have Lucida? <laughs> I do see Lucida here. But no, nothing as permanent as that. Just I'd like to know that uh you'll come when I call. If I need you. Hmm. Right, right, right. Get the Get the Minotaur for hire. I gotcha. I agree to that. Oh, don't fight yourself down like that. I saw you fighting your brother yesterday. I'm just saying it how it is. Don't listen to them, Tyler. Your head's not lost in a labyrinth. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so you get me to hook up Melody and then... I'll come whenever you need me to. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my god, my head's so lightheaded here. Ugh. I'm never gonna get used to this. Yeah, I'm available for everything. <laughs> it's a deal then. So, mechanically, I am trading a string on Melody for a string on Tyler? Yep. Awesome. So... You can go ahead and take a string on Tyler, and then uh, Tyler will take a string on Melody. <laughs> and then kind of, does the trance end, or do you ask anything else? Um, I think it ends. I think I'm good for now. Oh. Oh, God. 
and kind of like the smoke and the haze kind of disappears and through it the kind of world that you've like put yourself in the trance ends and suddenly you're kind of sitting there both panting uh because it does take a lot out of you damn that's like a high in itself yeah I'd like just pat him on the cheek gently and say it's always a pleasure doing business with you i mean the business doesn't have to be over he says kind of getting up I'm sure we both have other things to do. Huh? Gotta shoot your shot. And he <laughs> kind of like turns around and he goes, Later, Arden. Oh, and he stops and he's just like... Fucking something happened yesterday with Isaac. I'm sure you would probably like to know this because you're always trying to one-up him. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about, but please, do tell. I don't know. My brother saw him go into a room with, with uh, Victoria and um, Yanni. Yanni, not, not Yoni. Yanni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been hard for Yoni to do that. Um, did your brother see what happened after? Uh, there's a lot of cursing, a lot of yelling, some screaming, apparently. Uh, he's got, I think he could connect the dots, probably. <laughs> I don't know. It wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't pass past Isaac. But Victoria's looking real smug as shit today, though. <laughs> well, maybe I'll have to talk to her about that. Um... Either she, ju she just, uh... Either she just, like... Inherited someone's fortune and stole it out of their grandmother's purse or she got laid. I'm not sure which yet, but it could be anything <laughs> I mean, well good for her. All right, that was a freebie, you know, cuz I'm always your You know repeat customer and all that remember that Of course Tyler And he kind of uh, walks out no, he kind of. He walks out. <laughs> Stop this away. terrible boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. You can literally like like when you stare at Tyler, you can kind of hear like the wheels on the bus playing in his head <laughs> as he kind of tries to like think through his thoughts. So is we're we're gonna go jump really quick to Ivy before we all convene for breakfast with everyone. Ivy, uh, you're just kind of talking to Kaya, and she's like, you know, rest assured, she's like, you know, I can, I can come stay in your room if you want, I can, you know, I just, I should have done that yesterday, I shouldn't have left you alone, I mean, do you, you want me to, I can, it, it can be just no, temporary. No, 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 it's, it's, it's okay, Kaya, it's just, <sighs> listen, and this cool everyone can defend themselves you got your spells everyone some some people can just throw others with no effort at all i i can't do that i i get it you know i do how, how about this i'll work on some sort of i'll use my witch stuff i'll do some witch things i'll give you a protection charm or something I'll, I'll make something for you and you'll be you know just something to keep your mind off ease and for what it's worth we checked out isaac yesterday and he didn't kill yoni so i i really don't think isaac would do something like that i mean yoni is his supplier right i mean i don't know i really don't know isaac that well i don't really choose to know him that well i don't think i'm gonna know him that well especially after last night but but you're the only I, one who i believe mm -hmm. i believe in isaac 
guess that's what's I mean maybe that's your power you could see the good in people after you've uh, made out with them I'm, I'm joking I'm kidding uh -huh. Can we not talk about that, please? Oh, okay. look, it got your mind off I, things. I... That's how it's gotta be sometimes. Yes, but I want to... Uh, all my expectations of this school is just gone. You know, when, when, my, when my parents told me, like, you're going to a new school because we decided midway that we're going to move. And then I thought it would be, you know, fun. Make new friends. Get a boyfriend. But I mean, you've been here for like what? Two, two weeks. weeks? <laughs> I know. Yeah. And then now there's murder. There, <laughs> my roommate just got murdered. I've been here for two weeks. Well, you have friends, and I can't really do anything about the murder, unfortunately. But I can do something about the other one. What boyfriend thing? You, well, you know that's hold hold up for a second. Skirmish is happening this week. It's the big game, and all the players are going to be giving people their jackets. You know they want their partner or someone special to wear their number. It's 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 barbaric. Yes, it's a little bit about, and I <sighs> I, I go into the fake of how like giving someone your number, and making them wear it kind of like shows that you're like under possession of someone and i don't like that object bullshit you know me but still yeah, there is some truth to it that if a guy likes you or a girl or anyone else they'll give you their number on the, the on the, the skirmish team just saying ivy you're the, you're, yeah, the new, but... you're the new shit you're the new hotness you don't honestly believe that kaya I, even i don't believe that well I heard that Melody is walking around with Mercutio's number. But that's about it. I mean... Oh, well, they do make a good couple. That's that's a power couple if I ever saw one. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. But you got, you know, Elliot's on the team. Hannah's on the team. Lucas is I, on the I, team? I haven't even. I I Kaya, you I can can't get to they're... know them. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't do I, nothing I... with you, Jesus. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even talk to them without stumbling over my words. How am I going to get to know them? And it's 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 cute. It's it's. It's your secret power. Not being awkward? Being innocent. <laughs> oh, that just felt weird coming out of my mouth, but... <laughs> you know what? Um... And there's always a big party at the end of Skirmish, and, like, a lot of stuff can happen. Okay, well... Alright. Last party I went, I got... <laughs> You know what happened with Isaac? That I. I mean, I would say I don't ever bark up that tree again. But I mean, I guess more power to you if that's what you really want. But like, you're hanging out with that Neil guy. Neil is a friend. Every relationship starts out in friendship. I can introduce you to a few people. Let's see. And she kind of pulls out uh, a little, like, a list of names. Let's see who is... Let's see what will work for you. Mm. Ka Kaya! Kaya! Mm. Can we just... No, stop! stop! Oh, wait. We're going into town today. We could hit some bars. Oh, my God. We could... We could go into town. We can get... We can get you Tinder. It'll be... It'll be great. You're... You're immortal. What's Tinder? Oh, it's this thing you like it's on your phone, you can like swipe for people and stuff like that, like Oh, okay. Sounds fun. If there's you not... just swipe people? Yeah, and then like, and then like they message you and like yeah, it's like a game. Sometimes they send you pictures too, and you just gotta like learn how to root those oh. out. It's this whole it's this whole shenanigans. 
So now for friendship then. Yeah. Not really, but yeah, okay. Let's let it'll be fun. All right, we'll go into town today. All right, get your mind off this. Go get some ice cream, maybe. Maybe like hang out. Oh, um, stuff. I, I I might have to pass by the cafe. You know, the place I work at. I for some reason my phone won't send out the message that I can't come to work. Oh, I'm sure. I'm. I mean, I'm sure they'll understand. Yeah. I think. You're just a uni student, so. Yeah, It'll but I need extra money. Alright, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change or not. I mean, I look fine. She just stares at you? Yeah! Come on, let's go down to breakfast. And she, like, grabs your arm and, like, and kind of pulls <laughs> you around. Remember, every extrovert is, uh, or every introvert is just waiting for an extrovert to adopt them and forcibly, uh, <laughs> forcibly pull, them into, pull, uh, yeah, them pull them into society. <laughs> and she kind of, like, gallantly pulls you along. And, like, as soon as you say, like, I need extra money, she's like, well, we just gotta find, we can fix that with a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, what? Joking, kidding, kidding. Maybe not. We'll see. And the yeah, last... Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know much about... I only had one boyfriend, and that's it. So do you get money from them? Yeah. The good ones, anyway. Look, now I'm objectifying. I don't like this. Alright, well... But yes. Yes. Yes, a hundred times yes. Don't worry, I'll teach you every trick in my book. And then once you've run I've run out of tricks, you can go to like Yanni or someone, and they'll teach you every trick trick in their book. Trust me. Um okay. We'll make you We'll make you a queen bee yet. I don't want to be a queen bee. Or a social butterfly. I don't know. I'm running out of insect metaphors. The awkward caterpillar. That's what you Thanks. are, but you could be a social butterfly. You just need a cocoon. A Kaya cocoon to transform you. Oh my god, we could give you a makeover. Oh my god, it could be like that movie, All She's All That. Oh, you know, we'll like powder your nose and everything. We'll do all this great stuff. Kaya, 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 and Kaya. you'll walk down the Kaya. stairs to a, an awesome song like... Kiss me. And she's like humming around. <laughs> And I think that's a great place to end our scene there. Uh, for anyone out there who's not seen She's All That and doesn't know that iconic scene, you, sh you should definitely educate yourself. <laughs> um, and uh, I think the last scene we'll get to before everyone meets for... Oh my god, my chair's a little creaky today. Uh, <laughs> for um, a breakfast or brunch at this point is Isaac. Isaac. Isaac, 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 Isaac. When you see your entire group uh, now kind of converging in your room, some of them looked concerned, some of them looked hawk-eyed and ready to go. How does Isaac feel? Isaac right now is smoking some weed not drinking grass smoking weed uh primarily he is looking through the book and waiting for them to come to the door and he will take note of who's looks scatterish and who looks ready to go elliot looks perfectly fine christina and brooke on the other hand not so much uh looking through the book you find the ritual it doesn't list you any components, any techniques. For the most part, most of it is redacted. Uh, except for the phrasing of what the ritual is called. The Pit of Cain. Huh. 
And are, are they all in now? Yep, they're all in. Do you mind closing the door? Yeah. LA kind of slams it shut. All right, boss, what's the what's the go ahead? All right, everybody take a seat. They do. Um Christina sits at the like at the kind of uh foot of your bed. LA takes your desk chair, spins it around. You know how they like, you know, sit with the backing of it with their kind of hands resting on top. And then uh Brooke Alexa stand. All right, welcome to this week's annual meeting of the Abandoned. With that, there is a number of things on the agenda. First thing first, how is everybody feeling? Just fine, boss. Pretty shitty, and not gonna lie. I'm feeling adequate. Good enough answers. With that, first things first, business. Now, we now know... That Yon has been strangled to death, which means that our current supplier is dead. And while that may be sad or might break some of your hearts, that opens an opportunity for us. We're going to monopolize this shit and we're going to control the prices. He's dead, which means that we need to find the supply. Now I have a plan in place. Lucas, or Lucas, yeah, Lucas, being the idiot that he is, told us he knows where to find it. So, I have somebody that may help with that. If we're able to find where this stuff comes from, we're able to then harvest it and then from there monopolize it. So. I mean, I can tell you where it comes from, Brooke says. It comes from the Fey Realm. You would need to get into a, a doorway into it. Yeah, but then how would Lucas get there? He's not Fey, I'm pretty sure. I mean, anyone can go into the Fey Realm. It's getting out that's usually the problem. So maybe Lucas knows of the door. You're on campus somewhere. Either way, I want to see what he knows before we move on. If we do have to go into the Fae, then that's something we're going to have to account for. Any other questions pertaining that business there? Preferably, I do want to do this peacefully. But if we have to kick a shit in, we will kick a shit in. Hell, it goes, no, I mean, no questions from me. Although I did hear a rumor that you were spotted in a in a room with a bunch of some of the ladies from the dorms. How'd that go, boss? I kind of show my neck. It didn't go well. Oh man, that's a hickey. That's not Good a hickey, you, boss. Elliot. Nope, it's not what that is. As a uh, vacuum cleaner, I got you. Yeah, this is what leads me to my second piece of business. If you did not know, or wondering if the rumors are true or not, yes, I was cornered by Kaya Yoni, or Yoni, how do you no, say No, Yoni, Yoni, Yoni's the Yanni. dead, dead, dead yeah. scene. Yoni's dead. Yoni and uh, Victoria, uh, I got cornered into a room and interrogated, uh, particularly Victoria went over the edge, and I feel that this was the last joke for me, personally. So with that, I'm on the warpath. Particularly with those three. But Victoria is primarily our main goal. Uh, she's been a nuisance. She's been a thorn on our side. And with that, we need to take care of her permanently, in a sense. I don't know exactly you if. Kill... It... Oh, you tell us you want to kill her? Kind of. Primarily, I want to bind her to me. If it's possible. If not, then killing her will suffice. You... Whoa, whoa, Christina's like, a student just died, and you're talking about killing... Isaac, are you fucking insane? I'm not. Primarily, Victoria knows too much. Isaac, we can't kill another student. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's not like she doesn't have it coming. No, I would disagree not. Are you... Oh my god, I cannot believe what I'm here. Christina's like... I look, Isaac. I'm with you 100. percent I'm down with controlling the school. I'm down with making some money. I'm not gonna murder someone. And how do we know she didn't murder the dead student? Huh? How do we not know that she did it? And to be honest, she was ready to kill me, which wasn't a very pleasant experience. Just to let you know. Uh, I still don't. Brooke, come on. You know that this is wild, right? Right? 
Uh, Brooke is just staring ahead, like, almost just, like, not really listening to what. Brooke! I'm listening. You seem to be troubled. What is it? I'm not troubled. I just don't think it's prudent to go murdering people, especially when you're already being heavily considered as a suspect by the other students. I see that we all have qualms with this. I think we should just back off of Victoria. You she see, we back off. She'll fair, she seems very comfortable. And if you give the enemy an inch, they're going to take the whole goddamn yard. Yeah, Elliot says. It's all about that Sun Tzu shit, right? Uh... Wrong book, but close enough. We won't kill her outright. Let me see what I plan to do is even possible. I'm talking about binding un undead to me, especially being a vampire. Even though she's got us all. Christina kind of like raised, but but Isaac, she's still like another student. What what fucking god damn it? Just because you read in in, in the Forty Eight Laws of Power doesn't mean we can't use it on another student. Like Christina, for a second, think. Do you not think? that she would snap your neck or drink all your blood in a heartbeat. Like, let's be very honest with ourselves. Be very, just think about it. Just take a second and think. Don't think about if it's a good or bad thing or if it's anything between. Think for a second. If she had the chance to drink everything out of you, do you not think she would take that chance? Do you think Marcusia would do that? Marcusia is a completely different person, all right? But right you're, now, but you're saying... Whipped. What do you mean? You're saying because he, but he's a vampire. He's the same. It's same deal. And no, I don't think Victoria would just drain us dry. I think everyone's all talk, including you. I don't think you want us to kill anyone. I don't think. Here's another another thing. I checked to see who the book that is another thing. You know who was one of the people that checked it out? Who? Victoria. Why did she want the book? Exactly. Why would she want a book on forbidden magic and all that stuff? All right. I mean, but Melody wanted the book, did she not? I mean, that's a different story. She wanted because she wants a puppy. All right. Victoria, Wait, you know her. That book lets you make puppies? No, it doesn't make. She wants a hellhound. It's a whole story. She just wants companionship. All right. But that's beyond that. Victoria is up to something. And if we don't stop her, she may do something worse than a murdered student. Think of what we're doing is as a public service. You don't even have to do it yourselves. I'm the one that's going to do it. Christina gets up. It's like, I, I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I... I gotta think about this, boss. I'm not gonna lie. And she starts to walk out. Christina. You're on this team. I know, and I, I'm telling you that I... That I, I yeah, I just don't want to, like, kill someone. You want to go back? You want to go back to your mundane life? You want to go back to playing at different pubs, just working a shitty job, and live the rest of your life as a nobody? That's not fair. That's not fair? That's not fair at all to bring that up. It's the truth. The truth doesn't care what you feel. I will give you a life unimaginable. Power unimaginable. Go ahead and and you're, not, you're not even killing somebody that's even alive. They're already dead. Go ahead and roll me hot. Because you're, 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 you're definitely trying to like... Hawk us off this. I let me see what I got for hot. I have a yeah. I have got a seven. She she looks at you and and she goes. Just can you just promise me something? Anything for you, Christina. This let this whole killing business be the absolute last resort. I promise. 
I will make sure I thoroughly investigate other means of neutralizing her. And if there's something I can find, then she will die. I kind of extend my hand. I promise. She shakes it. You're not sure if she even believes if you truly have her loyalty at this point. You know, she won't say anything, but you're definitely have to keep working on it. And everyone for this matter seems to be a little weird about the murdering of another student after the murder of another student. But you know, for the most part, you're not going to uh, have any resistances just yes, just yet. And one by one, they depart. Unsure of what this day is going to bring for them. Unsure of why their school is suddenly turning into a battle royale. <laughs> Hell, that's a uh, college for you, though. It's a hell of an opening move. Going to war. Isaac, do you head down for breakfast? Uh, I do. I grab the book on my way, though. Uh, I keep it on me. I put in, like, a my backpack or whatever, and I keep it on me. As you all make your way down to breakfast and are kind of all in the same vicinity, we uh, see the rest of the school down here for the most part. Um, out of your class, you see pretty much everyone from Tyler to Samir to Yanni to Hannah to Lucida, Reese, uh, Lucas, Victoria, Mercutio, Jaime, Kaya, Nikki, and then the final four as Isaac and his court follow in. There's one person, though, that you all can kind of pick up right away. It's not there. You see there's an absence in Jay. Where's Jay? I, I don't know. Um, Samir, you haven't seen him since... No, it's... It's... An... It's strange. Oh. And... Good morning, Melody, Neil. Yeah, Ivy. Hey, uh, grab a seat. Well, Eggs? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, Neil like literally takes people's orders and goes to get everything for them. Just Doesn't really one. eat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, though. I like that you go and you get everyone. And as you, uh, you get everything and you kind of bring it back, there's a sort of uneasy silence hanging around the school. Like, people are talking, but they're much more muted in their conversations nowadays. As everyone's eyes kind of drift to the lonely seat where the Bay Prince Yoni once sat. Where he would awkwardly ask others. Where he would laugh. Where he would make jokes, tell stories, and eat with his friends. A chair never to be fulfilled ever again. They're um, bringing students to the city by the bus. It's running all day. Do you guys have yeah. any plans or? Uh, Samir and I are 
going to go to an ice cream parlor. Anyone want to join us? Melody? What? Would you like to join us? Ice cream parlor? Uh. Yes, I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You, you only loved ice cream, if I recall. I feel like it'd be fitting in his memory. I have a single piece of toast in front of me and I'm not even touching it. <laughs> I, I guess, yes. Arden, are you also sitting with them, by the way? Uh, yeah, I think that I'll sort of join them around this time and say to Ivy, oh, are you going into town today? Yeah, we're all going to go out for ice cream. Hi, Arden. Um, actually, I, I have plans with Gaia. But she, she said she's going to help me find friends on this, like, weird app named Tinder or something. Tinder or... I don't know, I still have to get it installed. There's no reception in this area for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's my phone that's the problem. Aren't you mar- aren't you mortal? Yeah. Why would you not know about Tinder? Wait, what is Tinder? I just like peeking her head out, like as someone oh. asked the question. Oh my! If I could do a whole dance a musical number about Tinder right now, I would. Uh, but that's not this kind of game, so I'm not singing. <laughs> Ivy, you don't need to use some app to find someone. There are all sorts of people around you. Yeah, I mean, you rock. We can All you gotta do is smile in the right direction. You could have anyone knocking at your door. <laughs> me? Have you seen me? <laughs> I turn to someone, smile at them, and then probably fall on my ass and make a make a stupid show of myself. Oh no! No. Look, we can go. Get Some people street. find that hot. It's that's, charming. That's what I said. They love that innocent act. It's true. Some some guys just really go for the whole helpless thing. Some people like clumsy. We just need to get you someone that can uh, have some money, preferably. You know? Money? Why money? Why money? Because well, uh, apparently it's one of the, according to Kaya, it's one of the requirements of getting a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Kaya. Or... Look, I... guilty, <laughs> but still. You deserve to be taken care of, Ivy. Boom. That's why I like Arden. Look, all like you got to do is find someone that makes you feel dizzy. You know, you're cute as a bug's ear. You can get... I, I don't want to feel dizzy. <laughs> no, it, I mean, it's like... This girl does not get euphemisms. Y y your stomach starts feeling like it's a bit lighter than it should be. And all you want to do is hold their hand. Uh, and at this point, I think my hand is like slightly, like half and half a centimeter away from Smears. <laughs> you, you can't stop thinking about them every single time that you're afraid or, or, or worried. They're the only person you really want to talk to. And then your heart feels like it's beating again or it skips a beat you know what what have you beating the moment again. they look beating again <laughs> some of us are dead right what? neil is just a rom wow. romantic at heart a hopeless romantic what about you melody i heard that someone you know obviously you're wearing a, a jacket power couple yes. what you and mercutio are gonna be a power couple yeah. Wait, what? What's that? It's a power couple. It's, it's like, you know. It's when two people um do like their superhero moves together, I think, and then one of them throws each other across like a, a football sized yard to attack the bad guy. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Like, oh. Like a power <laughs> couple is like, okay, I know as a fae you don't know like mortal stuff really well, but. Like, if two six very successful people were to get together, or, like, two celebrities, it's like a power... It's like a, damn, that couple's so fucking strong together. 
Like you're a celebrity, Melody. No, but like Melody's I... Melody's Faye. Melody's like cute. She's she's hot off the press. She's new here. Mercutio's handsome. He's a vampire. He's on the skirmish team. He's like a part of the higher society here. All of those things are correct. Plus, he like lives forever. Is that what makes a power couple? Yes, social status and just you two together, I... it just works well on paper. I have to say, I'm a little surprised that this is the way your power couples are going, though, Melody. I wouldn't have thought that you would be the object on someone's arm. Is that a? I'm. Roll cold. Not an object. <laughs> yeah. That is a shut I don't know. If, I don't know if they need to roll cold. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's so Arden, Arden, Arden rolls cold for. Yeah, I know. I don't know if they need to roll cold. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I already feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seven. Woof. That's um... okay. <laughs> Not as bad as it could have been. Yeah. Um, so, all right, you choose from one from below. Uh, and then also, Melody's going to give you a condition in response. So, what would you like so to do? I would like to give Melody the condition arm candy. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. That is evil. Sometimes you gotta be oh smart, Candy. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's so yeah, good. Uh, I get, to, I get to give one back, don't I? Yes, do you I? do. No, I do. Well, I'm gonna give Arden the condition jealous. I mean, extremely valid. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that something weird just happened between you two? That's spicy. You hear Kaya Is what? this what people are into? Well, I find it interesting that uh, Arden thinks that I am the arm candy in the situation. In fact. I mean, you're the one wearing his number. That's sort of textbook objectification, isn't it? Looks to Kaya. Of who? Which one? Oh, no, it's certainly of you. That was the intention. That's the way it's going to be read. Wait, this no is matter. over a... This is over a jacket? With what? that, Isaac would like to walk up to the table, specifically towards Kaya. I mean, that is straight uh, out of the 50s. I, Isaac. Hi. Oh, no, my life just changed. That that That's how you know it's bad, <laughs> me, Jojo. Bad to Juju right now. You're a Juju. <laughs> so bad, Juju. Darkness. Darkness. Yeah. There you go. So Isaac strolls up and Kaya's like, uh, Isaac. And all your eyes just turn to Is your is your court backing you up or now or just you? Uh they're sitting down. I just went by myself. Okay. Hmm. Good morning, everybody. You all look lovely. And kinda goes Ivy. Hi. Uh, you, you know, you can you can sit here, um, Isaac. I, I like to stand up and make some room. Um, thanks. I mean, I was gonna be quick. I was just gonna tell Kaya, uh, if she's ready for the woods. Woods. What is what? up with you people? What? The woods. Yeah, we were gonna go to the woods. I wanted to show you something, and I would like, uh, if I can here, use my move. Bot loyalty. Okay. Uh, for so anybody that doesn't know what that is, uh, you can give a side character a string on you to tempt them to do your bidding. The MC will tell you what sort of bribe, threat, or coaxing it'll take to get that character to do what you want right now. If we go to the woods, everything's settled between you and me, right? Uh, this is going to settle it. This is, as you can say, is uh, payment. Or at least, you know, a balance, if you will. Isaac, are you pressuring someone to get with you? Is that what this is? Because that's not cool. No, Neil. No, uh, no. no. I'm not blind. No, Kaya, you and oh, Isaac? I'm oh, sorry. Roll cold. 
rolled cold against Samir. God damn it. Isaac. <laughs> 12. <laughs> All right, what are you giving Samir? God fucking hell. <laughs> did you mean to do that? I gotta ask how to get I, I did. I did. I meant All that right. whole hard. Uh, choose one from Dick. below. Uh, I am going to uh, give him a condition of feeling small. Samir does not like that whatsoever. Samir's like kind of shrinks down a bit and just like uh, you feel as your hand was close to uh, them, Neil. They just mm -hmm. kind of pull away and kind of go in on themselves a little bit. You know what, Isaac? You really are an impressive asshole. Thank you. I'm surprised you have a pride. single damn friend. Also roll cold. We're rolling cold all the way, all day. Yep, yep. Who I'm like the closed. fridge open? I'm, I'm frigid. Okay. Uh, uh, that is only an eight, but that still is something. Do I? Isaac has one string on me, but you know what? He can keep it. I think he can gain the condition. Weak. Put it on your sheet. Yeah. All right. If it takes, start taking advantage of the conditions. You know. Can I give one? Wait. What did yeah, you, you give one back. Yeah. Uh, can I give him traumatized, or is that no, something no, no, specific? No, no, no. He okay. already have it. He's already have uh, it. I I feel like my conversation with Samir did kind of eliminate the traumatized we did talk about someone being hanged okay we could say we cleared it and you got um they got so can I give, can I give it back to him? I, I would say you again. can't i don't i feel like what we're what are you gonna say like do you i don't know if you would you have knowledge of neil enough to to actually traumatize them because you don't because you i don't think you know That's Neil's true. a ghost. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know that i don't yeah. know his trigger so if yeah anything, you don't know uh, i'll give him i'll give him the condition of Hopeless. Okay, that's a good oh. one. Oh. So now we go back into it. Neil, you go. You're like, I'm surprised you have any friends. And then what do you respond with Isaac? Well, at least I'm alive and can feel the touch of another human being. That's something more than what most people can say. When was the last time that happened? Uh, that's personal. That's a real dick's thing to say after someone's died. People die all the time. You don't see everybody crying about it every 24-7. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, guys. This is... Yeah, yeah. Take a walk. But, Isaac, uh, and this time I put my hand on his chest and I look at him right in the eyes. Isaac, if I really wanted to touch someone, feel someone, I could have anyone I wanted. And I wink at him. Yep. Hey, yeah, it's... <laughs> Roll to turn Isaac off. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <clears throat> that is... Um, that is a 10 because I rolled an 11 and I have a negative one to hot. Jesus Christ. Oh, so I gain a string on you, Isaac, no matter what. And you can either give me another string or you can, ch oh, uh, no, no. I gain a string on you no matter what. And you can choose either to give myself to give yourself to me, promise something you think I want or get in really embarrassed and awkward. Good luck. Yeah, I'm getting embarrassed and awkward because I'm already weak, so I'm out the door. Yeah, and like, I feel like Isaac just removes himself with the conversation with that. Just like... And... Which direction is Ivy walking in, just by chance? I don't know, Ivy. What direction Oh, towards in? the library, most likely. I'm gonna head that way. And as you do, you realize... um that you are getting stares from everyone. Stares of malice. Because you just... Not only did you 
say some pretty harsh things. You also made light of someone dying. Like, the day after something fresh. And people are looking at you. Even your own court is, like, unsure of what to do. And they kind of just put their heads down and turn away from you for a second. Letting you walk out of the cafeteria. That was... Something. Samir, that is all Samir says. <laughs> yeah, we should, um... Ice cream, right? Yeah, ice, ice cream. And you see Samir's just kind of, like, awkwardly pushing around his yogurt. Bus arrives in half an hour. Yeah, I'll be on it. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna invite Mercutio if he, if he wants to go. I'm sure he'd love to be seen out with you. Uh, Kaya. You don't need to set Ivy up on a date with someone from town, do you? I mean, I was just gonna help her out a little bit and, you know... Before I was rudely interrupted, I, you know, I was going to give, me and I were going to go shopping and I was going to give her a makeover. That sounds very sweet. And I'm sure that that's something she could use, you know, with everything that's happened in the last few days. I mean, since she doesn't have someone bankrolling it right now, um... Do you want some company? I'd be happy to pay. Yeah. I mean, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, it'll be a good night out for us. A good day out for us. Yeah, it'll be fun. I mean, anything to, you know, see her smile, right? And Kaya kind of gives you, like, a an eyebrow raise. <laughs> but doesn't say anything more. And uh, I think from there, that's good to end out the scene. And I think from here is a really good place at 9 o'clock. We have about like an hour to an hour and a half, a half left. So let's go ahead and call it uh, for a quick five minute break. And then we'll return. Back with more Gehenna Academy. See you in five.
Hello everyone and welcome back to Gehenna Academy. Chapter 3, Queen's Gambit. As we uh, cut a about an hour or so later, everyone is arriving into town. Oh well, everyone did a costume. Some people did a costume change. You know what? And what do you do in town but loosen up your tie a bit and get ready for some fun on the day that classes are canceled. So that's what we're gonna do. As, yeah, now I look like Time Money right now with the uh, <laughs> Academy look, the prep look. Um, time Money! As uh, everyone kind of gets into town, we're kind of split into groups. You see Ivy getting off the bus, followed by uh, Kaya and Arden, followed by Neil, Samir, Melody, Mercutio, Followed by a few other students, finally followed by Isaac and his squad. With Kaya going, I, I have performed an absolute miracle. I just want everyone to know that. An absolute miracle. Kaya? Yes. I swear. It's drawing my cleavage. Girl, you gotta stop hiding that. Let it breathe. Free the beast. Exactly. What? what beast? You are woman. Hear thy war. <laughs> yeah, no, I and and, and I'll what is... sink the seat. And what is it with this 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 drab scenery I'm hearing here? No 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 no. Ch we're gonna we're gonna change this doom and gloom. We're gonna change the music. We're gonna be nice. We're gonna be in it. Let's go. Damn, Ivy, you look like a dame. So everyone Thank kind you, of stop. Amir's like, that is a uh, quite an. Uh, that's, uh, that's an old Sorry. Word. I'm a little bit old fashioned. I could be the only one. My point is, I don't think I've ever seen you without a cardigan. Ever. <laughs> Yeah, well, Kaya took it and hid it somewhere with her magic I, thingy. I tried it... to get those glasses off her, but... I needed to see! I can't see with... I don't want to be tripping all over the place without my glasses, okay? Ivy, I think your glasses... I actually needed to see. I think your glasses look great. Thanks, Neil. I... Can you, can you, Kaya, can't you have pick anything? Like, the lipstick, it's too red, it's too... I no, it's, feel... it's wonderful. It's exactly what we need. Oh my god. They're gonna eat you up. They're gonna love you. And I got us uh, some other things. And she, um, uh, brings out these kind of blank, like, index cards, and she hands one to everyone. Um, with the exception of Isaac, who's not in the group. <laughs> like, even Mercutio as well. You can't sit with us, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the back of the bus. Just, just hot. Yeah, you're your squad. Sit. Fuck your squad. Uh, that's what Kaya says anyway. As she's like, she begins to um, she like takes like and starts sprinkling some sort of like mixture of like herbs and some some other elements. Is this and supposed to do anything? Okay, Doubting Thomas, can you wait one second? All right. And let me work my magic. And she kind of tops you She's like, I'm a witch. This is what I do. Bibbity bobbity boo. That's a joke. There's just no spell. Com There's no verbal components to the spell. No. Oh, what does it do? Well. What's it for? Say your last name. When I point to your card, say your last name. She points to Arden. No. Or just make up a last name. Get your Ghost point uh, taps Arden's card goes to Ivy. Valencia. Taps your card goes to Neil. Just my last name? Uh, yeah, just your last name. Uh, Ka Kapoor. <laughs> taps the card. Mer goes to Mercutio. 
Zoyad taps the card, goes to Melody. Hummus? <laughs> no. Isn't that the food? Taps the card. <laughs> Perfect. That's a cool name. Just and named as, after food. As you look at your index cards, you see as they start to change and shape and even texture and consistency, as now is not a blank index card, but rather an I an ID for the uh, for the uh, city or, or I should say state of New York. And you notice that most of the stuff is pretty accurate to what you are, except for Melody. Obviously, it says Melody Hummus on it. And the age has been has been aged up by about a couple of years for most of you. Three, two to three. Uh, putting you all conveniently at the ages of 22 and 23. Huh. We can drink. We can drink. Is that, is that even safe? Should we really drink? Can face get drunk? I've never seen. I've never seen. Let's find drunk. out. Do Faye drink? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. What am I supposed to try? Guess I'll find out. I um, I don't drink. Why? I just never wanted. Hey, to. Don't 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 pressure Neil into something he doesn't want to do. I mean, he, if he doesn't want to drink, it's his. Thank you, thing. Ivy. I'm Plus, not saying you have to. I'm just asking. Can you not? Oh no, I. I, I don't know. But I don't want to. Okay. Perfectly fine. We could still enjoy each other's company. You could just buy like a soda or something. So where is the local gin mill? Gin mill? What? Samir goes, he's talking about bar. Gin mill. <laughs> a bar. Oh. That's what you call bar. Okay, I have to write this down. <laughs> Do people not call it those? No. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was speakeasy. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty universal term. There Where you go, you... speakeasy. And then Mercutio runs in, he's like, ah, I remember when I went to speakeasy. See, Mercutio gets it. Yeah. It's a great place for, uh, for having a drink. Am I... I the only person who's lost <laughs> as to what they're talking no, about? you're not. Oh, good, good, because well, I was worried that... What? And uh, as you kind of, like, are, like, milling about town, uh, you notice uh, a few things. You notice that, one, uh, Tyler seems to be following you all intently with his eyes. You see that Reese... Uh, has hurried off in a direction like as a trying to lose everyone and you notice that Jay is also not with you okay has anyone seen Jay the past couple days like in hours I haven't no. seen him since like yesterday midday Uh, do you yeah. think something happened to him after, you know? Uh... Don't blow your wig. I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I go over to Brooke real quick. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask, what, what's Isaac yeah. doing? You know where Jay is? Or where he's been? Apparently someone saw him go up to the uh, astronomy tower earlier today. Uh-huh. And before that? Nope, no one saw anything. Jay kind of keeps to themselves. Yeah, that's what troubles me. It's always the quiet ones. Mental note. Why don't you enjoy yourself today, Isaac? I don't particularly like going out. Everything can't be your mission 24-7. I tried doing that after years of doing it 
24-7. So why are you here, then? Take a guess. Starts with the letter I. Well, seeing as you don't have, don't seem to have a uh, an interest in irrigation, do you really? You spent all this time going getting away from that poor girl, and now you're trying to track her down. I don't know what it is. I just keep going back to her, and I think I need to confront it tonight. I need to understand whatever that is, because it really complexes me. And the ritual. That is also happening as well. I thought you were the one who told me to relax. I'm just saying, like, you preach about, you know, wanting to do nothing but this mission, but you're going off chasing tail somewhere. It's not just chase. I don't chase tail. All right. This is different. It's investigating a hunch. I don't know. Maybe we might need a body or something. I, I, maybe. I don't know. There's that murder talk again. If you start saying that, people are going to start getting suspicious. People are already suspicious, for Christ's sakes. I can I can barely go into well, a bathroom without people thinking I'm freaking creepy as shit. Well, there's thinking you might have done it and then acting upon it knowing that you did. Okay, maybe it was rash. It was rash, but Victoria needs to be taken care of. Because last time I checked, she's not going to go after me. She's going to go after everything around me, which means Ivy's on that list. Maybe even number two on that list. You're... Brooke kind of like Brother Temple. Look, I know we've been always been close. So I'm going to... I'm going to give you a piece of advice, Isaac. Not as like an underling, but as your friend. You're making a war where there's not any. You don't need to turn the school into a battleground. I know, but there's just a part of me that just wants chaos. It's just something that gnaws at me. I don't understand what it is. There's there's the part of me I can control, and there's recently there's just been something gnawing at the edges of my mind and just wants to destroy everything. I'm trying to keep it in check, but it's getting really hard, especially when people like Victoria are banging at the gates. I'm afraid that I'm going to lose my shit like I did in Hillview. I think you're already you're forcing yourself to lose your shit right now. Look at you. You obviously look bent out of shape. I haven't slept in fucking days. I keep having nightmares. And the and the dreamcast, the weed, all of it is not helping. Then stop it. Look, let's... Something is inside me trying to break out and I... I'm just saying we don't need to do this. Keep doing this. We don't want to. We don't need to worry. We could just worry about ourselves. I made a promise. I don't break promises. That's something I have in common with some of these people. Whether I like it or not. No matter how disgusting it feels on the outside to say that. Alright, Isaac. Will you do it your way, then? If you want to help, try to distract everybody so I can get to Ivy. I need to have some alone time. I'll think of something. Thank you. And Brooke, I appreciate your help. If I ever seem out of line, just tell me. Don't beat around the bush, I mean, don't. I just I feel like I just did. I know, but if it happens again, just tell me. Isaac. You're... You're 
You're not an asshole, but you're trying really hard to be one. It's all I ever known, Brooke. At the end of the day, if I'm not an asshole, then what am I? Our friend. We'll see. Let's see how this night goes. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but knowing our luck, something's gonna go wrong. Something. And we'll go to, so Isaac uh, goes to leave to find Ivy. So uh, everyone kind of, I feel like, so what's the plan? Is the plan for Ivy Arden and uh, Kaya to go do their shopping first, then, uh, then ice cream, then drinks? Sure. Mm. Works for me. All right. So we're going to do a few scenes uh, just because we're getting towards, you know, we're getting to the home stretch. So uh, Kaya will take Ivy and Arden. They'll go and they'll uh, pick out probably something nice for Ivy that Ivy probably isn't too keen for. Uh, Kaya specifically looking at uh, like these kind of like black tall boots. You know, you know, the ones that are like kind of like the the um, platforms with the the multiple laces going on the front front. Something definitely like a lot more. Um, n n a lot more like. Attention grabbing than probably Ivy's used to. Yeah, everyone knows those boots. Exactly. Let's <laughs> God damn it. It's the truth. It's the truth. You could just imagine in your head, and that's that's the beauty of role play, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes. And I kind of as you're doing that, like, uh, Arden, do you buy the boots? Uh, yeah, happily, and uh, <laughs> uh, but I think that noticing that Ivy isn't super comfortable with the whole makeover will then after we leave the store, offer her their coat. Just as a like, hey. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, you just, I mean, you look incredible. That necklace is great on you, um, but you seemed a little unsure. So if you wanna, you know, cover up at least before we get I to the bar. I mean, I don't know. Kaya, Kaya put so much effort into this, and I can probably just hold off until the bar. I mean, it wouldn't take effort to make you look stunning, Ivy, but just not Please, you, don't, you don't mean that. You don't mean that, Arden. <laughs> I absolutely mean that. Where is Kai at this moment? <laughs> Kai is kind of giving you all your uh, space. I think I think Kai realizing that Arden bought the stuff for like it's like well I at least have to give Arden like a couple of minutes of lee you know what I mean of leeway. So Kai is just paying for her own purchases right now. I'm gonna send uh, mixed messages to Arden. So mixed messages is when you're alone with someone, decide if you're attracted to them or not. If I am, I tell them why we can't be together and roll to shut them down, adding one to the role. If I am not, then I tell them all the things they've got going for them to let them down easy and roll to turn them on, adding one to the role. Unfortunately, I am not because I just, Arden's just there. So listen, <laughs> Listen, Arden, like, don't you have something else to do? I mean, you've got all these friends and all these people. It, it's going on shoppings with me. Like, I'm not exactly one of the popular ones, and you are. So you've got, you've got nothing better to do here. Then I have to roll. 
<laughs> Doing a hot trick. Yep, you throw hot because you're trying to let him down easily. Do I, I'm I'm guessing also as Ivy's kind of telling Arden this, Ivy's like maybe, you know, grabbing Arden's hand, you know, trying to be nice about it. Yeah. Like, you don't have to. You don't have to like, put an effort. Like, it's fine. It's fine. I understand that. And I rolled a ten. Plus <laughs> my hat. So that's twelve plus one. That's thirteen. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> So all this, you're gonna you're gonna take a string on Arden, and Arden, you gotta choose a reaction. Are you going to, um, give I mean, yourself? I assume... Yeah, promise. I... You could just you could just be like, well, I know what that means, and just like. <laughs> I was gonna say, I assume that the first one is off the table since this is Ivy actually trying to shut me down. I mean, um, it doesn't have to be if you don't want it to. I mean, you could just try if you really wanted to. You could just be like, try to try to kiss Ivy right here, catch her off guard. But I don't know if you want to do that, Arden. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this poor child. Um, no, I think that I'm going to um grab her hands more tightly and say, no, you're so, so worth this. You're worth so much. Ivy, you're, you're amazing. Um, like anything that I can give for you, I would. Listen, Arden, I've heard those, like, I'm, I'm not a charity case. Like, I, I, I kind of know where this goes. It, it's fine. Um, no, I'm just gonna go with Kaya. This is. And you can go your own way with your popular friends and all that. Oh no! <laughs> um, no, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, stop you. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'll, I'll I'll see you at the school, Arden. I guess. Are you? Oh, are you not gonna come out with this? I mean, even if you don't want to go out with just me, everyone, we'd love to come out for you know ice cream and drinks. Oh, um, yeah, but I would have imagined that you'd go with someone else, but Kaya. Kaya's like coming around and she kind of shoots you this look hard and like a um like you shot your shot it didn't work <laughs> I mean accurate like back like 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 the ease the fuck off like look yeah so Arden will just like hands up back away say you know, I don't want to pressure you into anything. I would never, ever want to do something like that to you. But the invitation is open. And I'm sure that Neil and Melody and Samir would love to see you later, too. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, ice cream sounds nice. It's pretty hot, so. Yeah. And we kind of uh, leave the scene right there. As kind of, I'm guessing Arden leaves. So yeah. Arden, I think this is the perfect time to do something. Oh no. <laughs> Arden, I'm going to trigger your darkest self. Oh because, no. Because Ivy is the only person you treasure out of all these other people. All these people that you call currency. And not only that. They have rejected you. Your own treasure says no. Now, can you please read to the class <laughs> what your darkest self is? Yes. So, darkest self. You've become too heady, too lax, too vague. You need to dominate one of the people, things that you treasure and let it know it's yours and that it doesn't get to choose who owns it. You do. You escape your darkest self when your treasured thing proves that you don't own it entirely or when you see the difference between objects and people. And kind of as you settle, you find yourself, your heart's, your heart's beating faster. You can feel there's almost like this tightening in your chest. 
it feels like hell for a second. And your eyes kind of narrow and you place your back to the wall and down some random alleyway and you have you're starting it's it it's you're feeling dizzy it's harder to breathe breathe and then you feel it the hot blood of the worm pulse pounding through you and it tells you it ushers you something ivy is a treasure Ivy doesn't tell, doesn't get to, to say what she is to you. You decide that. You are a worm. You are a dragon. You are one of the most noblest creatures, most fearsome, one of the most legendary creatures that ever has walked this earth. That is your lineage. And you'll be damned if someone thinks that they get to decide what they are to you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we knew that she was a little slow, but maybe if we show her, she'll realize that she belongs to me. And I feel like you absentmindedly like take a coin out and just begin flipping it through your, your fingers. Absolutely. Yes. Because every dragon needs a horde. Every worm needs a prize. And what is the greatest, most cliche prize of them all? But a princess. And I think we're going to go to... Uh, Neil and S actually before we go to Neil Samir because I feel like that's going to be a very heartwarming conversation I want to go to Melody and Mercutio mm -hmm. uh, Melody do, who do you have anywhere you want to go specifically before you guys get ice cream and drinks I want to know what this card does what else can you do with this card Mercutio goes it's a uh, it's an ID. Okay. Well, you see, with the ID, you can just... So, in, uh, uh, I guess... So, in this world... You know, love, there's a... Uh, there's certain things you can't do until you're a certain age. Uh, maturity. Kind of... Okay. You, you see where I'm getting at so far? And the, the ID is what we use to uh, identify what age we are, what level of maturity we have. So certain stuff like alcohol, spirits, sprites, smokes, um, getting into clubs, uh, you know, even driving cars and renting hotels, doing business, pornography, all that jazz, all gated by an age of some sort. And for drinking, it's 21, which... Most of us aren't. Well, I'm I'm definitely over that. And I have Too a much. feeling you I've been long enough to know when when Neil says the things he does, what he's talking about. How long is that? Nearly a century at this point. Give or take by 10 years. Okay. So. Nails at least a century as well. I mean. And. That might be. So how many of those things that you listed before can we do in town here? Hmm. I mean, we're going to go get drinks later. Can't really drive a car because mm -hmm. we don't have a car. Mm -hmm. You've never smoked something? Only Dreamweed. 
I don't know if you, you want to taste cigarettes. I don't think that would be something you would enjoy. I mean, I guess we could. Hmm. You could craft, get drinks. I mean, I don't think you would have anything to do to buy pornography, so I don't know if that would be up your alley either. But I guess we can get you cigarettes if that if you want to experience that. What it means to be an adult in the human world. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, maybe you'll take to it. And let's see if we can get a Fay hooked on nicotine. And uh kind of lead you along. Uh you see despite that he's not wearing his like normal clothing today. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's, you've never really, because, you know, he's never been out and about per se as much. You never see what his out and about clothes look like. Uh, and they are, he's wearing like pretty nice, like jeans with like a button up shirt. That's kind of like open at the collar, uh, several pendants and amulets kind of around his neck and bits of jewelry on his arm and hand. <laughs> So, you said before that mm -hmm. you get weak in the daylight. What kind of weak? I can't manifest my abilities as well. And generally I need a bite to eat to recharge. I honestly feel a little peckish here myself. For food? Food? Or for your food? I mean, to me, that is my food. But I mean, I can eat normal food if I wanted to. It's just not as efficient. Okay. Uh, where do we get that for you? Hmm. And he kind of looks around. Uh, and spots like various couples, people alone, uh, some girls that are at the fountain, some people that are at the Gare Royale, and other people uh, buying stores. And then he chooses, he looks uh, kind of towards uh, one of the, the couples sitting on the bench talking, maybe like a year, a couple years older than both of you appear to be. And he looks at, uh, specifically at the woman. And he goes, I reckon she'd probably work. I'll problem me out a bit. Why her? Hmm, get a feeling. Instinct. Hmm. And he like, as he's talking, uh, his gaze doesn't move from her, and you can see he's absentmindedly licking his lips. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to play into Arm Candy and help him in whatever way he needs help. You sure you're okay with this? I mean, this does kind of feel... I you're mean, hungry. I know, I know I could wait till we get back, though. We don't... I mean, I know we didn't label it as, like, a date, per se, but it kind of felt like it to me. Maybe it felt like it to you? A little. This could be fun for us. I mean... I don't know if... I don't know what... Fey blood does to your kind? It might guess. be something we can find out, but maybe not here. Probably not. Something to experiment for later? And he kind of raises an eyebrow. Maybe. And he kind of gets behind you and like 
grazes his fingers across like uh, one of the sides of your neck with his uh, nails that are like, you know, manicured well, uh, but still slightly sharp. You know, it, it would feel good for you as well. Some people find it euphoric. Some people even get addicted. Hmm. Sounds like fun. Oh, it definitely is. And he kind of like whispers in your ear. You see that man that she's with? Mm -hmm. Can you distract him from me? Just like 10 minutes or so. That's all I need. Of course. Thanks, love. And he uh, kind of waits for you to approach him and kind of stands off to the side a bit, like looking for his in. Mm -hmm. um, Melody is going to approach him. Or not approach him. Uh, walk past him um, looking at him and then make sure that she's got eye contact and then just beckon. Go ahead and roll hot. We're against this is the drama spice today. This is the spicy episode. Um, seven. Okay, that's going to be enough, too. It's not going to get a string on him, but that's going to be enough that he turns nice. his head and lets go of his, uh, his companion's hand for just a second and finds himself uh, kind of following after you. And in that moment, you see Mercutio almost like a phantom is at the woman's side as they look away from each other. And she turns, like, to say something to surprise, and she turns to look at her, at her, uh, her boyfriend, and you see where Kushio kind of placed two fingers, like, on her, like, on cheek, and, and kind of guides her gaze back to him. And just in an instant, you know she's entranced, falling under a spell, just like this gentleman is to you. Where do you, where do you lead him? Um, to an alley. Uh, he follows you, and he's he's well built, a little bit, t uh, you know, about six foot, six one. Um, wearing semi nice clothing, seems pretty well off for himself. Definitely looks to be fresh out of college, maybe a little bit older than you, probably like twenty four, twenty five. <laughs> Got a little bit of stubble growing, mm. but like that tasteful kind. <laughs> tasteful stubble. Yeah, and he's got the the most like deep like blonde hair, kind of neatly combed you've ever seen. And she's going to put a hand on his chest, and say I know you're with her I don't want to change that but I just wondered if you'd spend a little time with me he nods and kind of looks around and kind of begins to like unbutton his shirt kind of uh never really saying anything in the process And I think from there, what happens probably will fade out. Probably, yeah. And uh, maybe a passerby looks into the alley when all this stuff is going on. Maybe they get a show. Who knows? But uh, for you, this is sort of what you're more used to, Melody. Like, this seems more... Fa it seems more wild to you. Like... Mm. 
before you were in the confines of a dark room where it's just it was just you and him it didn't feel right you know it didn't feel right to get emotional like that to feel like it was as is more intimate than it should be but this this just feels like sex and for you that's perfectly fine in your book um, so we'll go off, and your sex move will go off, which means uh, you can ask them for a promise if you like. Ooh. Um. Can I have your number? just without saying a word uh well he will write it down for you actually I hope if you have your cell phone he'll enter it in for you mm -hmm. and you notice he holds out like the contact information like as if for you to put your name in what name That's do you cute. put down or do you just say no? Uh, I would put in Melody. He looks at it. And then you see he immediately changes it. As if he's like memorizing the name. And changes it to... Uh, it looks like it says like... Andrew, parentheses, work. Mm -hmm. and then uh looking a little more disheveled for wear he kind of like he takes your hand as far as the alley's exit and then breaks off uh giving you a wave and uh looking back you see that the girl is uh coming back as well looking just as disheveled and they kind of sit there almost awkwardly together. As if, like, just staring ahead, not even at each other, like, contemplating their whole lives. And then you feel a breeze as Mercutio is behind you. Uh, wiping away uh, something from his chin. Ah, oh, that was delicious. Yes, it was. And do you smell even more delicious? You had fun? I did. Excellent. Should we get some ice cream? Yes. And you both walk off to have ice cream. And mm -hmm. we'll uh, go ahead and we'll rack up we have our last two scenes. With uh, We'll go with Samir and Neil. <laughs> Where, where do you two go before the, the whole meetup? I think I'm walking in a direction. Um, and I just picked the direction. I, I didn't really pick a place to go. But through some happenstance, we're walking towards the church. So, um, you okay? Because Isaac was a real dick. been dealing with assholes like in my whole life I mean so have I but that doesn't mean they don't get to you I mean don't get me wrong it did get to me but I'm okay now I'm always okay you don't have to be okay trust me I'm not okay I'm a I'm a mess No, I I really am okay. If there's one thing I have is inner peace for myself. Not even those creatures yesterday could do anything to me. They came to see you? Of course. But people talked about seeing their worst fears, but I didn't see anything. <laughs> 
They seem pretty angry. Annoyed. There's nothing for them to latch on to. That's because I have my emotions in checked. And I know what it means to be me. Look, I get it. You're plenty rugged, but that doesn't mean you have to... God, isn't life sucky enough without having to try and be big all the time? I I have to be big, unfortunately. It's... Think of it this way. If I touch someone, or if I walk past someone, or if I smell something, or I could have... I could see something great. I could see something cataclysmic. Who who knows what I could see? And then I'm forced to live with that. Not anyone else. It's on me. And I know something about having the weight of the past on your shoulders, but the weight of the future is not something I understand. Take her, for example, and she points to a little girl crossing the street. Say a couple days, say I get a vision where I see you get hit by a car. What do I do? There's probably nothing you can do. Exactly. I could try to stop her. Or, but sometimes it's futile. You can't, I've just learned you really can't change fate. You can't wet what the the archives have written for you. Shit. Here. Why'd I take you here? And it was inevitable we end up here. Don't feel too bad about yourself. Every story, every line, it's been written. But it then I suppose that this one is. Uh, and this time, I'm not walking beside them. I am pulling them behind me. I assume you know what this is. And I point to like a patch of dirt on the ground. Um, I'm almost thankful, you know? Because they put on it, um, to the unknown soul, may you find peace quickly. Ironically, and, well, I wasn't supposed to be buried at all, but I was definitely not supposed to have an actual gravestone, so in a way they got something right. I saw them too, you know. They didn't show me what I was afraid of. I showed them what I was. They showed me one of the better parts of my life. A place where I felt alive and, and free and welcome I think they knew from the start that I couldn't have done anything to Yoni to Yoni yeah. they knew you had a good soul I don't know what I have all I know is oh. that I see you I see you even when you think that you're gone. In fact, you're one of the only people I can see. I um I turn around to face them and I put their hand on my chest. We've known each other for the better part of a year, and I have been really afraid of saying what I think we both know I'm about to say. So. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm, hell, I'm about a century at this point, right? I think I'd be better at this. But I'm not. I've always sucked at it. People I actually care about. It's hard. When I think of the places where I felt safe, it was um, that weird broken flat filled with cockroaches that my parents and I used to live in. Um, then it was that 
one hostel room where um, the owner let me stay for about three weeks after my parents died, free of charge, as I tried to sort out what the hell I was going to do with the rest of my life. And then it was the circus. And now it's you. Please say something. Please. I don't know what the future holds for me. I... This feels real. This feels like something. But there's also this nagging feeling I got. Where I feel like even though the stars are telling me that this is true, that all it's doing is setting up for a cosmic tragedy. Hap stories don't end happy with me, Neil. I'm... Well, I'm not your average Joe either. None of my stories end up happy. But who cares how it ends, as long as we have a good time in the in-between. I'll stop the moment you want me to. And I uh, reach in to him, uh, to them to kiss him. And uh, Samir will be hesitant at first, and he, then they pull back, but then they stop. Maybe for once. Just this once. I can live in the present. And he, uh, kind of, like, they, uh, reach out to embrace you. See, I told you. You are plenty rugged. And, um, I think I make out with them for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that's as far as it goes today. It's nice. Take the romance slow. I like it. <laughs> ah, it's a benefit of living for a couple decades. Or not living, as it were. You only know how to take things slow. We should probably meet up with the others. Don't yeah. want them thinking we were doing anything untoward. Okay. They just, uh, they just smile. By the way, I rarely get to say this and mean it, but you are looking extremely hot today. <laughs> I I wish I would know what I could look like, to be honest. But I... Yeah, thank you. I wish I could say the same, but I you sound extremely attractive today. I mean, that's sweet. So do you. So are you a vanilla person or a chocolate person? Honestly... And I think that's where the scene kind of like exits out as you have this conversation walking back uh, to get ice cream. And I think it's time to go to one, our final scene of the night. Ivy. You're walking. You're leaving. Uh, Kaya says she's going to grab something real quick in a store for you to wait outside for her. You're getting tired of going in stores while looking at stuff that you're not going to buy. That's Kaya oohs and ahs. Plus you really want some ice cream right about now. Why can't you just skip to the part about ice cream? That's the best part. It's hard. But there's an old there's an old saying. The night is dark is just before the dawn. And you see Isaac stroll up with intent towards you. Oh no. Um I wonder if I can hide somewhere. <laughs> You're in an open street. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh dart into the nearest alley and hope that he doesn't see me. Oh Isaac, Ivy. you see you see her. You see her. 
Ivy, I, I, um, can, can we talk? Isaac, I don't know about talking. It's, um... I only want to talk, and I'm really pull a string on Ivy. And uh, I want to give him the condition enthralled. Can you give me a You have the enthralled Wait, condition. Enthralled, okay. And you it's feel like captive, yeah. Yeah, you feel... Uh, you feel sort of like... Not like your mind controlled or anything like that, but you feel like you can't take your eyes off Isaac. Even if you want to. Um, but it's a yeah, public okay. street, though. It's not like he's gonna murder you in broad daylight or anything. <laughs> not with Yoni. What? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, we can talk, Isaac. Um, you want to sit down somewhere or? Yeah, sure. Um, wherever you think might be best. A, a ice cream. Maybe? Sure, I'll. Uh, you want to? You want to get ice cream? You want to get ice cream and sit down and and and, and talk? Yeah, yeah. So, I just um, going. I'm not sure if I should talk uh, tell Kaya that. She looks we busy. Won't go f- yeah, you just... won't go far. Okay. Yeah, we're not going far anyway. Let's uh. Yeah. So I go in. I I buy ice cream. So you buy ice cream and it's a, uh, or whatever snack you have before you, because you're also all going to meet up and buy an ice cream unless you're going to do double ice cream. Oh, well, it happens. Yeah, it's going to be a rocky road for sure. A plus comment right there. Uh, so yeah, you kind of, you, you think you have about like five to six good minutes, Isaac, before Kai comes back out of that store. You're muted. Am I good? Oh, okay. Oh, Sorry. for some reason, I think everyone got muted on my end. I apologize. Oh, okay. All right, you I, 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 um, I wanted to apologize for um, leaving you that one night um, where we were, you know, Kissing. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if I did something wrong. Um, no, I... no, never, never. You didn't. You didn't do anything wrong. The fault is mine. Um, I. Um, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. Uh, I'm very honest with you. Um, I haven't dated a lot of people in my life. I know that's very obvious, uh, but... No, no, uh, n- no, not not at all. I'm kind of surprised, actually. You're the king of the school. That's, it's just the title. It doesn't mean anything, to be honest. It's just king of a school. I mean, it doesn't really have any validity or weight to it, to be honest. It's just a fancy name. But um, when I was... When we were kissing um it, it reminded me of somebody that i lost and much like neo when he tends to be you know uh, with his stuff and he tends to go away i, I kind of was the same it wasn't it wasn't right of me to um to do that to you Thank you. And listen, I I already forgave you like a long time ago. Uh, I I did not expect this to be honest. And um I 
it, it's it's funny that I find it hard to make the words. I tend to usually have an answer for everything, but when it comes to you, I tend to fall flat. Make me nervous. <laughs> that's that is <laughs> that's a surprise. You nervous? You're always usually so confident. It's yeah, I'm usually the awkward one here. Oh, don't say that. You're 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 fantastic. Uh, no, I'm really awkward. Oh, you're not. And, um, Isaac, you look Isaac. Isaac, you look Good over, day. and you see um, Kaya approaching before she's intercepted by Brooke. <laughs> uh, and Ivy does not notice this. Does it look like I don't have long? It looks like. Brooke's gonna buy you another five minutes. Ivy. What is an Isaac? Um, I, I'm gonna activate mixed messages again. And since I actually like Isaac, listen, I don't think I don't think we should be talking or even friends. Um, I mean, you're the king of the school. I'm just a newbie, newcomer. Um, it just doesn't make sense. And you do understand I'm mortal, right? So all your enemies, if they see me talking to you, all your enemies will start targeting me. And that's something I don't want to happen. And I have to roll to shut you down. Yep, adding one to the roll. That's another 10. Um, Excellent. What would you like to do then? You can either take a string off of uh, Isaac that he has on you. If he has no strings on you. I got um, one. You can give him a condition or you can just take one forward on your next roll against Isaac. I'll take one string off Isaac. Ooh, no more strings on Ivy. You're free. You're, yeah, you're free. And with that, uh, you see, I know I said five minutes, but you see um, Kaya finally break through Brock. And go, hey, Ivy, we're going to be late. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, Isaac. Yeah, no, I just, uh, one fair warning. Um, yeah. If Victoria tries to talk to you or interact with you, I would suggest not doing it or not talking to her. Um, she particularly, I think, has it out for me. And I know as much as you don't want to be involved with my affairs, I fear that she may not care. It's not to alarm you. She's not going to do anything, hopefully, too rash, but she may try to manipulate you or something like that I guess I have to buy some garlic then yeah and I, I know Kaya for sure is gonna be a great you know friend or protection or whatever like that yeah she was talking about giving protection um yeah, yeah um, bye Isaac yeah uh, have a good night and I feel with that as like dust is starting to settle in uh, we kind of take one sweep around everyone one final time. And as we kind of descend, as uh, evening starts to play out, we see Arden walking alone. And we see her pass, uh, Tyler, who has her arms, his arms uh, kind of crossed. Are you ready to, for me to cash in that deal or that favor? Yes, actually. Well timed, Tai Muddy. And we kind of cut from there, and we see Neil and Samir kind of walking, uh, enjoying themselves. We see Melody and Mercutio kind of like looking back to each other, uh, with like almost like they're hiding a secret between both of them. We see Ivy actually starting to feel a little bit happy 
now that maybe she's cleared out all the baggage that she's need to. And Kaya looking absolutely thrilled with the situation. And then we cut to a few other people. We cut to Reese buying flowers for someone. We cut to a bar where we see the bartender go and say, Would you like another round, sir? And we see the eyes sunk in, depressed appearance of Jay looking up and go, Pour me another round. Yeah. Looking like he's about to cry. And finally, we see Victoria. And a figure approaches Victoria. Did you do what I asked you to? And we see the figure reveal themselves as Brooke. I did. The plan's in motion. Victoria smiles. I just needed a taste of that blood. Now I can do what he does. And, like, as if on cue, we see rocks begin to float around Victoria. She smiles at the camera. And we end. Chapter 3 Queen's Gambit Thank you to everyone for watching this episode. Um, I don't mean to keep pushing us to three hours. I'm sorry. Next episode will be a little bit shorter, uh, I swear, but I wanted to get all some setup in for uh, the little second little arc of this. I hope all my players had a great time today. Uh, it was a lot of great, a lot more about what Monster Hearts is used to, but we definitely set up a lot of stuff. Uh, there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet. Before that, on the count of three, let's everyone take a deep breath. One, two. And now, starting with Rena, plug your shit, please. Hello, guys. Again, I am Rena playing as Ivy. I do stream variety games over at the underscore overlord. And we also have a game of Call of the Abyss tomorrow at 7 p.m. PST if you guys are interested on in seeing me cry out of sheer stress. <laughs> because uh, we are reaching a bit of a climax in the story in Vampire the Masquerade. Um, aside from that, I'm also working on some other stuff, but I can't really say it. Yeah, <laughs> that is all on me. <laughs> next one, please. Hi, I'm the next one. <laughs> uh, my name is Dude Lee. My pronouns are he, him. You can catch me next playing a game on Sunday on Utopia's channel, uh, where I'm guesting for another episode of Kahania, uh, playing a, a fire elemental, which is pretty darn cool because they're, uh, they're practically deities in this world. So that's no pressure at all. Uh, I'm also joining the um, Roll for Solidarity panels uh, Wednesday and Thursday on Transplaner RPG's channel. Uh, I'll be moderating a panel about curating and comfort, uh, curating online spaces and caring for oneself while you do so. And in addition to that, I'll be talking about nerd spaces in general um, as a panelist. I'll also be hanging out in chat. So if y'all want to see me hang out in chat on Twitch, that's another great excuse to watch literally every single panel. Uh, we've got some great Asian folks. We've got some great folks from the black community. And we're going to be talking about how our struggles relate to each other and how they're drastically different at times. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to focus on our joy. Join us. Uh, I'm also on a Kickstarter. The Monster Hearts Kickstarter. Uh, Brave New Worlds. You can check that out on Kickstarter. Just search Brave New Worlds. You'll find it. And um, it's... 
a uh, full of little micro settings for your next Monster Hearts game. Mine is really horrific, but there are some other ones in there that are absolutely just as cool. We have fully funded, but we want to get a translation, uh, a Spanish language translation up, and we need about $250 to do so. So back now. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and I'll actually drop that. The Kickstarter link in the chat for you because it's honestly it's an awesome project and you should definitely kickstart it because we need more Monster Hearts content because we love Monster Hearts. It's amazing. Yeah. Melody. Uh, hey, I'm Chantel B. You can find me on Twitter at Chantel B. Today I was Melody the Having Fun Fay. Um, I am an actor, writer, psychology person many things um the next time you can catch me streaming will probably be uh saturday morning uh on lost world's archive playing unlawful disorder which is an open legend fantasy game um that will be at 8 a.m eastern um i may be running game waiting for my players to get back to me um that would be over at n e the letters n and e underscore actor on their channel um and i'm also one of the narrative culture writers uh for omens rising which is a uh narrative exploration ttrpg um you can follow them or follow us at omens rising um funnily enough i also review anime over at new new world review which is a youtube channel check it out if you want to um otherwise i'll be back next week um hi y'all i'm Alyssa. uh was playing arden worm you can find me on twitter at a disaster queer where i will plug things as they come up but nothing to plug right now Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Chris Cologne. I was playing Isaac. And uh, you can catch me on Twitter at uh, VO underscore Cologne, C-O-L-O-N. Uh, I can't really talk much about what I'm working on right now, but if you need a voice actor for anything, video game, animation, anything like that, you can hit me up on my Twitter and uh, let's talk. Awesome. And I guess that just uh, leaves me. Hi, everyone. I was your storyteller, Nick Francier. You can find me at Nobleman Nick. Um, I've been contractually obligated to tell you that Friday, I'm joking, uh, Friday will be Vampire the Masquerade Dark Ages. It's another great show that Gehenna Gaming produces, and then we put on display uh, with our good storyteller, Rick Wheeler, good my good friend, good compatriot arm, and fellow Gehenna Gaming uh, squad member. On Thursday, you can also check James Davey, The Midnight World. It's a whole new, uh, just an entirely uh, new game that him and his team had written. And it's amazing, and you should definitely check it out in terms. And then Wednesday, kind of counting down a bit, you can check out Cultist Wednesdays with my good friend Mark Anderson, also of Gehenna Gaming. And yeah, what else can you find me on? Well, I'll be producing Midnight World, but then I'll be back on here. I'm actually taking a little break of streaming, so I'm trying to reduce everything down to one, like I was saying before. Um, but that does not mean I'm not working on stuff. My own personal stuff is, well, you should totally go uh, fun Brave New World. It's amazing. I've reached the 75% progress goal of Weird People, Weird Places, uh, my very own Monster Heart supplement that will be hopefully out on Drive-Thru RPG by the end of the season. Uh, no Kickstarter needed. It's just something I'm putting out for everyone. Uh, we will have four new skins, four new locations. Yeah, go ahead and uh, I'll provide more updates on that. Follow me at Noel Man Nick. And as well as um, trying to hit 1,000 followers, if, you're, if I reach 1,000 followers, I will run... I've been already promised and promised that I will run a very special made the RPG game in full costume. Um, so if you want to see me in a really nice made outfit, I've already picked it out. You should definitely uh, follow me on Twitter and social media. All right. Love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I say every day, this stream is a passion project of mine. I love the cast. I love the story. Maybe I took my own a little bit too much for that, but uh, I love playing this game. I look forward to it every day. So we're about the three-hour mark. You all have an amazing rest of your day. And yeah, goodbye, everyone. Good night. And remember, Ganny Gaming. Horror is here.